Welcome back to another Vulcan 7 tutorial. So last time we went over how to use a dialer, how to get started quickly, how to get quick results when you're using Vulcan 7. Today I wanna to dive into a little bit more depth. Vulcan 7 over the years has added a lot of different features and some of these are actually really cool. So for instance, the Storyteller program. So Storyteller is another service inside of Vulcan 7. I believe it's a separate service as well, but I know it's inside of Vulcan 7 for sure because we're looking at it right here. So with Storyteller, when we come in here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our email profile. So one thing I noticed is when you upload your image, make sure that you crop that ahead of time, because if you do not, it will cut your beautiful head off like it did for me. Secondly, you're going to fill in all of your information. Make sure you do the canned spam requirements. Follow those laws. Not fun if you get penalized for not doing that. So let's say you want to use your primary branding color for your brokerage. Well, maybe you don't know what that is offhand because when you come down here, you just get to, you know, pick something out. So there's a tool on Chrome. It's called color pick eyedropper. Basically, if we grab that, we're going to go right here. We can click my shirt and it's going to give us the RGB colors. So RGB is what we want. This is what you'd use in like paint or Canva or something like that. This is what you're going to want for setting up your primary branding color. So if we go down here, the RGB is 168, I believe, 16800, right? So it's giving me that color, perfect. Now I have my brand color matches my shirt. Okay, so let's assume that you have done that. We're gonna go continue. You've set up your email profile, your branding package and whatnot. Now, when you get in here, there's not a lot of content created, which I'm personally okay with. I'm not a big fan of those pre-written emails that come with a lot of different CRMs and softwares. Really, the problem with that is that everyone else who has that software has those emails. And most people are not gonna take the time to go through and customize them. So you end up sending out the exact same emails as everybody else who's competing with you on expired and for sale by owners. So that's not what I recommend. In fact, you should be making your own videos. I'll put a link down below in the description for the free guide, 101 real estate video ideas. And that will help you come up with ideas that you can create put those into emails and implement, but let's keep going. So when you come in here, you've got pre-written emails, you've got email campaigns, all of this stuff. You would set this up typically in your marketing tools on your own ahead of time. But if you don't have them set up, you're not really gonna see anything in here. So let's say that you want to add video to your email campaigns that are going out, which you should. Basically from here, we can go to our video library, which is uploaded videos that we've created, or we can record a video. Now, personally, I'm not gonna use this for recording videos. I know you could use this, you could use Loom. There's a lot of different things you could use. If I wanna record a video for somebody, I'm typically gonna do that on my phone. I'm gonna do it quick, or I'm gonna do it with my nice camera, or if I wanna use a screen recording software, I'll use OBS, which is a really good screen recording software. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna use the record video feature a lot, but I mean, test it out. Maybe it's something you like, maybe it's easy and it works for you. But let's say you wanna upload videos. So you upload the videos here, they're gonna go into your video library. And then when you set up your email drip campaigns, you can use that to make sure that those videos are going out inside of the emails. Now, what's the advantage to that? Well, number one, you can track everything. So because you're using this all inside of this tool, you're gonna be able to track those open rates and you're gonna be able to track who is actually watching the videos. You'll also see that you can import the videos from YouTube or from Vimeo. So the problem with that is you're not going to be able to see all the data when you do that. Uh, I do like the idea of sending out your YouTube videos inside of your emails. However, if you can't track who's actually watching them and so on, that's kind of a bummer. So obviously you see right here, it says videos imported from YouTube will not be able to use our tracking feature which means you will not know which of the contacts actually watched the video. So that's kind of a bummer. Why is that a good thing though? Well, if you have a list of all of the people who are watching your video about why it's best to get on the market today or whatever it is that you're putting out there, you can grab that list, put them in your dialer and dial through that list of people who are engaging with your content and watching a video about why they need to sell right now. I don't know about you, but I prefer to talk to leads that are ready to do something. Now let's look at what we can create from here. So what we can do is we can actually create, if we go to settings, we can go to manage categories, we can create a place where we've got hot leads, we can create a place where we have cold leads, whatever you wanna use inside of the program. So let's say that we wanted to create a branded email. So what we can do here is we can go over and create a template, right? So we click text, 
That's our option. Basically, we're gonna build an email template that we can use when we send out emails. So here we go, we have the template. We're gonna create it right here. Title, basic template, description, message subject, I thought of you, right? Choose categories. These are hot leads, we wanna use this. And basically, we're gonna go here. We can upload an image. Once you have multiple images in here, you'll get an image library. Then you go down here, you add your message. Hello, how are you? And so on. Basically, you got a quick email you can set up and send out when somebody asks for something. So where would you use this though? Well, one of the options that you can use this for is when somebody says, can you just send me over some information? Like you're talking to them on the phone and they say that, right? Can you just send me over some information? You could create a branded template that has everything you want that expired to know or that for sale by owner to know or that circle prospect to know. By the way, if you are still watching and you're not subscribed yet, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and drop me a comment. Let me know what's going on and if this video was helpful. Okay, so we can set it up right here. Basically, this is how it would look. Title, just send me some info. So whenever somebody says, just send me some info, we can set it up to just send them some info, really easy. A lot of times, again, they're just trying to get you off the phone. But if it's your last resort, you can't keep them on the phone, you have gotta send them some info. Use the message subject, the info you asked for. And then their name, if you can, you can update that. If not, just, you know, the info you asked for. I'm gonna save this in a category like requested info, right? So I would create that category and have that there. So I would definitely create an image for this one that's specific to people who request this information. Something about how you sell for more money. Put some information in here that's gonna be helpful. When people open it up, we wanna hook them right away. Average list of sold price. Top 1% agent list of sold price, right? Or something like that. We wanna make sure we're putting something in there that's showing we know what we're talking about, that's showing we're good at what we do, then you're gonna fill out this text. So this is gonna be a great place for you to put information on yourself, on your results. If you have testimonials, you can link out to those. You can put a link to your Zillow reviews, whatever it is that you wanna do. Hopefully you've got reviews on your old site and you're not actually using Zillow reviews. Again, this gives you the opportunity to send this quick, to look professional, and to provide these sellers with all the information they need to know that you're gonna be the best pick when it comes to choosing an agent. Think of this email as more of a resume, as more of a direct sales letter, like you want to get results from this. And every time somebody asks for something that's not on there, make sure that you address that in the template, right? Because if those questions are coming in from one person, they might be coming in from other people and you wanna make sure that you're addressing those in the template because that's the one that you're always gonna send out. So again, this is just a very brief tutorial on using Storyteller inside of Vulcan 7. Make sure to watch my other video about using email inside of Vulcan 7 and how powerful that is because that is huge. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.